Hello again everyone, I'm Nick Pancakes and welcome back to my let's play of Kerbal Space Program. So last time we finished out the uh, tutorial, had our first launch, now we're going to try and get a, a ship going here. Um, added some some tunes from Soma FM's Mission Control streaming station, SomaFM.com if you guys want to check them out, figure out some apt ambient noise to fill in the fact that this game does not currently have any music. So it looks like we're just free to, I like that symmetry button, um, free to basically just build however we wish, uh, unlimited resources and whatnot right now. I imagine that as this game continues development there will be some changes to that and there will be some uh, restrictions on how much you can actually spend on everything but for now we will just not quite go hog wild you know we're gonna try out some new fuel engines here and still try and keep a relatively low cost of our ship but get out into the atmosphere let's try Let's aim for getting into orbit around the Earth and then back home again. So let's see. The burn rate for Pat. This is this has a lot of stats to it. A lot of different stats. Got it. We'll add a fuselage here. MK2, MK3, structural fuselage, some jet fuel fuselage. This this has all our fuel in it too, right? All right these are, these are our, f our fuel tanks. Basic jet engine, liquid fuel engine. Uh, I'm not sure if there's separate fuel types. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're just gonna add a fuel tank here. And we will add to that liquid fuel engine, solid fuel booster. Let's do a liquid fuel engine because that's what we have is liquid fuel. Let's do the the big guy here, our 45. And then let's let's see center control surface. Small control surface. I think we want to try and add some other other portions that will be easy to drop off. So we need some means of. That's kind of neat. Engine body. So add that to the bottom here. To, that's that's kind of cool. All right, we'll do that. Structural pylon. So I think that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's add some structural pylons to. So this will be our main, our main body here, uh, with this one engine, and we're gonna add three of these smaller fuel tanks and smaller engines. Two of those. I think that looks that looks pretty good. Um, so let's add some. Stabilize stabilization features here. Let's see if we can, yeah, that looks nice. How about that, huh? And then we want some means of getting back, so we will add. Well, that's that's gonna be gone. We will add three parachutes to the top here. All right, that should definitely help us land. So the goal here is to get into orbit using these three, three little guys, and then get back into back into to the atmosphere using our main body. But I'm not sure. Let's see, stack decoupler. I think let's make sure we have the right 
body here. So there's a decoupler so we could attach. This this will allow us to detach straight down to just the engine module and the parachutes. This looks to be our fins, which I don't really Let's see if we can move that up here. Those are those fins, right? Oh no no, okay. So those are up here. Oh, I separated them all. Oh, that's our our main fuselage. So I can go back down here. These three fins I want, however. No, they gotta stay with the fuselage. Okay. That makes sense. Structs. What is this guy here? So those that will detach. There. Okay. Uh, it, it makes perfect sense actually. It's got it all figured out for me. Exactly how it needs to be. I don't have to do any extra work there, which is nice. Which I like. It's nice. Let's name this. Um, I don't know. We we should come up with a, a naming theme for the curvals here. Um, Call it Curb, Curvatron, Curvatron One. How about that? This is the the Curvatron uh, space program? It's their our first foray into into space, and the goal of the Curvatron mission is to uh, get a ship into Earth's orbit and back into the atmosphere safely. All right. I think we're ready to give this guy a launch. Oh, we already have done that tutorial. Please don't show it again. Okay. So let's let's see how this goes. I think I think I think it might have just been me not paying enough attention, not not doing the manual controls as much as I need to. I think we're gonna try that again. Um, our guys are quite freaked out now, having be, being on the same ship as the one that, that literally just crashed and killed three of their buddies. So it looks like okay, they've calmed down a little bit here. But <laughs> let's let's try this again. Oh. Catastrophic failure right off the bat. Let's, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Let's. All right. Let's. Let's go ahead. And just get all the way through here, and let's end that flight and restart it. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why we didn't lift off. But we shall try again. They're back to being terribly freaked out. All right. Let's. Let's go. What is up? It launched perfectly the first time. Now we're now we're having troubles. Okay, let's let's end this flight. We need to we need to figure out what's going on here. Maybe maybe if I get rid of that guy. It looks like I mean we're still kind of uneven here. I think we might need to move. Well, no, we can go back. Oh, what happened to our Symmetry here. Okay. So we want those stabilizer fins there. But let's see if we can't move these structs. Structs of. Where's my structs? I'm having a hard time saying that word. Let's have those selected. It's not really. Hmm. Okay. I want to move this up. So that when I add these liquid fuel engines, uh, it's relatively close. Yeah, I think that's good. So now those are touching the ground instead of my second stage one. We'll be boosting straight off of those. That sounds good. I think maybe we need some more stabilization here. But maybe like a spiral football if we do it this way. Uh, it's probably a terrible idea. Let's get this little winglet here. 
How about that? That's pro that's a terrible idea. That's bad. Let's not do that. Let's Let's go back to just winglet. It's a singular winglet here. It's pretty nice and even. All right. So I guess technically this is this is curb drop too. <laughs> All right. Let's launch you, Kurt Let's try not to lose any more of our our agents here. Oh, my view is a little bit in the water. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, launch. Okay, that's better. So I, I think that was control failure on my on my behalf. Just having a hard time. I need to pay more attention to this guy instead of just. Yeah, see that'll help if I just try and keep that centered instead of like you know moving my camera around. All right, this is this is a good flight. Is it? It's fine. We can do that again. All right. Let's go. I think, all right, it just doesn't like restarting flights. I think that's what's happening here. So let's go back to vehicle assembly and then go back to launch. Milbert, Early, and Joven here, ready to go. I have faith that at the very least, they won't die even if we waste a whole bunch of government money Launching the second attempt at uh, I don't even Kerbatron Two, I believe is what we we named this ship. So let's go. Not easy. 
got one of our other views, but I'm really afraid. Can't like. Uh, I guess it's holding fairly steady. Switch to the map view here for a second. Oh, uh, we're we're definitely not f not far off. How do I go? There we go. Okay. We have not gotten far out off the surface yet. Relatively, at least. Ooh, buddy. That was scary. Alright, let's hold it steady here. We're not making any, any moonshot attempts or anything. We're just... Flying straight up. Trying to get as far up as we can. Spinning crazily, you know, these, these guys are a little more freaked out than I think they should be. You know, I just realized we probably needed a third state of control. Once we start reaching, we're just gonna let this kind of go. Spin it around this way a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, 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 not that far. And hope that we can. Let's, yeah, let's glide this way a bit. So that we're over the ocean. Oh shit. I guess we kind of got out into orbit. Yes? No, not really. But I guess we have enough thrust to get up here. I'm not sure. I can't make out exactly what this map means, but I mean, this guy's a drift. I don't know. We're gonna speed this up. We're gonna capsule and it's gonna bring it back in. It's a very slow descent, which is good. Yeah. Parachutes out here? Maybe? I don't see any parachutes. I don't know if that's a bad thing. There we go. Oh, jeez. How do I activate this thing? Oh, goodness. I just sent him spinning. I think it's alright. I think the RCS. There's the other one. SAS and RCS will keep these guys from. Experiencing too many G's to survive. We have three parachutes here that'll keep them all right once they hit the water. All in all, it's, you know, landing in the ocean, successful. Successful. Alright. Still didn't get as far as we needed to. But we're here. Alright. I say we go ahead and end the flight there. Separation stage 4 confirmed, separation stage 2 confirmed. Total mission time, 10 minutes. I uh, sure. Alright. That's Kerbatron 2. Kerbatron 1 and 2 have been completed. I think we'll stop there and bring it back, give it an attempt at a Kerbatron 3. A new, another stage. Some more power, another stage so that we can maneuver ourselves out of orbit once we get into it. Alright, see you guys later.